Hey everybody, Nathan here again with you today in the shop. And what me and Thomas are going to do is we're going to build a e tank. Now we did some of the work yesterday, last night it was getting dark, so I didn't film any of that. But uh, basically, all we did was cut the top off the barrel and uh, put some water in it. Now I put a board on top of it and I set the battery case and the battery that we're going to use. Because this, is, this e tank is going to be a little bit different than some you've seen, but it's going to take a car battery to do. And we hope to clean our old cornbread pan. This thing's been hanging on the wall for a while. We haven't been using it. But we're going to drop it in the tank and get it all cleaned up. But first, we have to build the tank. So we're going to show you how we do that. So stick with us. So as you can see in this tub, these are, other than the car battery and the car battery case that come out of my boat, uh, these are the items that we're going to use to build the E-Tank. <coughs> Laundry booster, sodium carbonate, not baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. You need laundry booster, super washing soda, sodium carbonate. I don't know where I got these cables from, but I'm glad I've held on to them. I had to drill the hole out just a little bit to fit on the battery and the alligator clips on it and everything. It worked perfect. Couple of steel coat hangers to use to submerge our pieces. and the battery charger and this is why I have to use a battery in, in this because this isn't a manual charger it's a smart charger but with the battery we'll be able to work around it so we can take this charge the battery the battery sends voltage to the e-tank um, had bigger cables there in case I needed I wanted to do something with them later so we're going to take our coat hangers and bend them, you know, something like this so that we can hang our cast iron on it from the bar we have as it's submerged in the tank. And then you're going to hook your negative battery cable to the wire for the piece you want to clean. Now, we had an accident and a loss in the kitchen the other day. I had bought a griddle. Not a very good griddle, but I got it for five bucks. And it was accidentally heated up too much when somebody went to turn the pitcher on to make some tea, and it got cracked. Well, waste not, want not. We're going to use the griddle that got cracked and busted. We're going to use that as what's called the sacrificial piece. It's the side that we're going to hook the positive battery cable to and it will create an electromagnetic electro magnet and it will actually pull the rust from the rusty piece onto itself and over time the rust will deteriorate it and I'll have to replace it but let's get our coat hangers bent up and then we'll show you some of the wiring alright so we got the car battery we were talking about it's a deep cycle battery that I'm using and I had the leads of the battery charger running out the shed window. Now, we're going to take our leads and put on these lugs. Just like that. So we have our two cables with our clips. Now we have a bar that we're going to run our cast iron through. 
just like that and set in the tank and then here and here we'll hook our alligator clips to so Now, before we hook the electricity up to it, we're going to add our washing soda to it. That's the bit that makes it all clean it up let's hit timers now and as soon as we did that we've got some bubbles forming on our piece that we're cleaning which is good it's gonna need a little bit more washing soda before too long we didn't really have much right then. And then to keep the battery going, we have the charger. We got some bubbles forming around that. When I get the, I've got uh, some washing shoulder on the way. As soon as it gets here, I'll show you what it'll look like when it's really rolling. Earlier in the video, me and Temperance got excited hooking stuff up, and we hooked this stuff up backwards. But we didn't have our charger hooked up to it, so it didn't hurt anything. But before I hooked everything up, I double checked it and noticed these were backwards, so we went ahead and swapped them around. Just make sure you're positive. It's right and your negatives right because this is important because your negative goes to the piece you're cleaning and your positive piece goes to the sacrificial piece so you got to keep that in mind now this is our first time uh, building an e-tank so don't take my word for it as word but you know as an expert opinion but I have researched it for a little while and this is one way to find it to do it uh, if you don't want to hook a car battery up, you can take an older um, manual battery charger and just hook it directly up, and it'll run and do perfect. Probably even better than this setup. But I don't have one yet, but I'm going to get one, and then I'm going to convert it to that. With that said, there is some warnings with this. You don't want your tank inside. It produces a hydrogen gas. It's highly flammable. Hindenburg. Boom. Uh, other than that, and you don't want to put anything but iron, steel in it to clean it. You don't want to put um, like stainless steel in it. It makes a, a like a hex chromium, but it's uh, low levels. It probably wouldn't affect you, but it is. It's a potential. And with aluminum, your aluminum could just totally dissolve. Uh, like hitting a aluminum can with an arc welder, it just evaporates into nothing. Uh, with that said, um, my buddy got back to me with another box of washing soda. I'm letting my battery charge up before I hook them back up to see how well it does. Uh, so I just disconnected the leads so the battery won't drain into the e-tank. And then I will hook that up tomorrow and I should, I'll probably give you an update on it sometime next week. See how what you think. Or when I'm done with the pan, I'll before I re-season it, I'll... I'll get it out and I'll video that for you and show you. Uh, as always, God bless you. 
you're all amazing. Uh, follow us on Instagram and Facebook, Samson Farms. Um, same thing on Instagram. I post a lot of stuff there. And if you haven't already yet, click that subscribe, hit that bell. It really does mean the world, the world to us. Thank you.